Grace Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm Mike, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Ding. 10 minutes or less. Yeah, dude. That's so cool. Vince McMahon's a trash human being. Oh, man. Jonas. Okay, so I did see recently in the news that something was happening where he was actually stepping down. Dude, he's worked for that company. He's still going to be like behind the scenes, just not the CEO, I guess. But, uh,. But yeah, he's been with that company forever, dude. Like forever, like 30, 40, 50 years, like however long old he is. His dad owned it and stuff. So, all right. Well, so I don't know anything about what's happening. And I'm sure some of our listeners don't either. Fill us in, man. Uh, Fill us I don't in. know. I read like part of the story. But uh, you know the original story. Uh, the part of that story. So is what I give read. me, the, give us that oh, story. He hired someone who was like an assistant or something at like 100K salary. And then, like, not long after that, her salary got bumped to $200,000, and she was, like, a director, and, like, apparently Vince was banging her, and then, like... Oh. And uh, he ended up paying her $3 million and signing an NDA, so she wouldn't talk about it or something. And somehow the board of directors at the company found out, and... Uh, so now they're like investigating him because he can be investigated. He's an employee of the company. So he, you know, so what, but what I think it said was like, he's, he's resigning and like his daughter's filling in like with the full under, like, like it's just like, so he can come back in later or whatever. Oh. You know? But I mean, if they find out enough bad stuff, man, like it's, I mean, but is anybody surprised if man's a douche? Dude? So, I mean, look, I can't name a single CEO who isn't, uh, F and one of his employees. You know? Wow, is that how it works? I'm pretty sure that's how I it can works. Become a CEO. The the thing is, you know, is that okay? So when you're rich, uh, your wife gives you cheat days, or you marry somebody who gives you cheat days, or they like to get involved with it's you. It's the understanding of like, hey, yeah, you can ha you can kind of. Is oh, that what it is? So when it comes to like rich dudes getting girls, like there's girls out there that'll do, you know, pretty much whatever. Because they want the money. I mean, it's, it sure incentivizes working. the behavior is what I will say. It right. incentivizes well, they're like, the Well, I guess, I guess you got to think like, do I love this guy or, or am I with him for his money? And this is gender neutral. It could be dudes with women too. Because rich women find dudes. So I'm sure it's the same sort of thing. Yeah. So it's like, do I love them? Or am I with them for their money? If I'm with them for their money. A little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. A little like, bit of both. If I don't really care about them anyways, but they want to be with me and they're, I have all of their money, if they cheat on me, whatever. It's not even about that. It's about just having an open relationship. But to find, you know, people who will do that. Because, like, I feel like the, the common person would not like to share their significant other. Well... But I think with rich dudes, I think it's like rich people in general. It's uh, it's like I'm gonna cheat anyway, so you can be cool with it or you can not. <laughs> like with athletes, you guarantee. I mean, but you poor think, people, poor dudes cheat anyway. But do you think that athletes have a conversation with their girl like? Uh yeah, like I'm gonna fool yes. around on the right. That's what I mean. They do. So exactly. So it's like it's like the understanding of like, so. They both get to do it or whatever. Dude, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Now, look, I'm going to keep, keep it a buck with you. Like, uh, I remember there was a NBA player. Can't remember who it was, but I know he said that he had a time frame where it was okay, where his wife had okayed it for him to go and do whatever he had to do. You look at Will Smith and Jada. They was out there just doing whatever. And it was perfectly fine when nobody knew about it. Like, nobody had an idea, a clue. Right. And she was out here fucking young guys. And you know Will Smith has been a, come on. Yeah, he, yeah, but he's his business hasn't come out, no. so he looks totally innocent. But in the real world, we know is that she fucked up just because it got out. So if it doesn't get out, it doesn't get out. But you know, it's a lifestyle choice, and you can still you know for a fact is that this this type of relationship is is perfectly normal, right? But I think the problem became it, it was at work, and people were that's the, okay. So yes, he gave her money. Well, right, and she. It was preferential treatment because yeah. he's he's screwing her. Then she gets a raise. Yeah. Then she becomes a director. Then she gets a you know. So it's like so people probably were like, 
Uh, Yo, how'd the yeah. new hottie go from assistant to director and double her salary for no reason? She's hanging out with Vince a lot. <laughs> the oldest trick in the book right there. <laughs> the oldest business in the world. Uh, yeah, dude. So it's it's weird. Though. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I, so, I, I mean, I'll check it out as, as things pop up about it. So there's like a there's a I mean, I get it that there's a law against that. But like, is there a law against that? It's not so much a law as like company policy. It's but like it's his company. Right, but he's still the, he's not the owner. He's the CEO. It's, I mean, a, it's a publicly traded company, so it doesn't matter anymore. Once it's not a privately owned company anymore, you have to answer to your shareholders. All right, I I I I argue this with if I am an employer, okay. even even like at the lowest level to being like somebody who works in HR. Okay, and I'm conducting interviews. Aren't I going to pick somebody? Naturally, the human mind is going to pick somebody more attractive, but naturally, the human mind is going to pick somebody that they like more. So okay. if I like you more, right? then yes, I'm going to hire you. If, I, if you're more attractive and I like you more, yes, you're going to get a higher pay rate than, say, somebody else who comes in. With but he, but like the problem came is they were banging and then something came up where he paid her three million dollars. Oh. <laughs> Why did you? Say I that? already said that earlier. I didn't he, know he just yeah. gave her three million dollars. Yeah, no, I said he, he got a raise and she moved yeah, up bro, in the I company. Said, uh, he she got a three million dollar payoff and signed an NDA. I said that right at the beginning when I. Oh. Yeah. So okay. That's well, yeah, that's illegal. Was. That's like bribery. Well, he's just he paid her off because she didn't want. The, so like obviously it's going to come out like that stuff even with politicians that stuff comes out all the time, man. Oh, so. He's in his. I'm. I don't know what his relationship with his wife is, but either way, you're in trouble if you got caught. Getting caught is the worst part. Yeah. The uh. The rumor is that they haven't been together in forever. They're just yeah. like because they're they're into politics and stuff and whatnot. So like people in politics don't get divorced. Yeah. Right. So they they hate Trump each and other and stay together because it's yeah. more of a scandal for you to get divorced and deal with all that than it is to just hate each other and not deal with each other because you both have power you both have you're gaining things from the partnership yeah, because yeah. if a man is in politics or a woman's in politics the husband or the wife a lot of times gets a lot of opportunity because you know to do charity work or do whatever because it's, oh my husband or wife's a politician i'll yeah. i'm gonna go save the rainforest you literally know I mean? the clintons Right. All <laughs> Literally. The, the I mean, Clinton. even like Michelle Obama started doing all sorts of charity work and stuff. Like, But it, I think they're still like a couple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they are. Yeah. But, you know, but like anybody in, you know, any, that's what happens. The husband or wife starts in politics and then you have the opportunity for all the connections yeah. to do something you want to do. And then if you like, oh, now like we're splitting up and now we got to separate the Obama Foundation because they want to split up now or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's yeah, so it's like we'll just stay together right, and pretend so, that we hate e don't hate each other. All right, cool. So I get it. You can't you can't pay people three um three million dollars and make them sign an NDA because you probably did something real shady. That's the part that's being investigated. <laughs> like if he tried to like whip his seventy eight year old dong out in his oh office, she's seen it she's seen it oh she's probably had it in her mouth, dude. No, don't you know, don't say it. don't say it. no. And Vince was probably saying something like, you're fired, or whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what he says when he nuts. Dude, <laughs> you're fired. And then she's like, am I really fired? And he's like, no. And, he, and then she's like, oh. So, so apparently he's stepping down from his duties now. As CEO. But As he's CEO. still going to do like creative, like the storyline. Is he still going to be like on Raw with the sex? They said he was going to be on TV tonight talking. About See, and, the th and the thing is, is that it's not like. I can't even hate on this guy, honestly, because it's not like he sexually abused this lady. I mean, you don't know that. Yet. You, that's, okay, that's true. We don't know that, but on it could have been a very much. Well, okay, on the same I term, forgot. We don't I forgot. Know that. There is a term I I did see in the article that oh, just Jesus. popped in my head. Oh, there geez. was a quote of someone saying that he offered her up to somebody else in the company to use like a toy or something. That was like the quote, and like I'm sorry, what? Like just to basically like here, here's this woman you can have your way with her like using her like a toy is what the quote said so oh. basically like, a, like using a, a live human as a sex toy essentially like here's your pleasure box take it and do what you wish with it okay so they had had a long lasting relationship he had paid her a lot of money made her into a millionaire and then he said why don't you go make my friend over here happy or and so, she was right. like i am not that type of girl right. I, and, and fair enough oh yeah, I would say, like, dude, if I was ever with someone and they were like, hey, they just offered me up, like, hey, have a turn with my homie here. I'm like, I mean, 
I feel like Vince is an asshole, but on the same note, man, whoo, how am I going to say this? I feel like uh, she probably, <sighs> there's a reason that he said it. There's a reason that there's, he said it. He felt, he felt people, confident enough to say it that hey, he, he said it. You know, it. you always say there's three sides to every story. Her story, his story, and the truth. That is what I want to say. Is a, par, there is part of her story is being omitted. Oh, Part yeah. of his story is being omitted. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, she probably said things that led him to believe something like that would be okay. Yeah. He probably did way worse than is even going to come out. Okay. Let me, let me, one more, one more thing. Yeah. Just, just to try to clean up that last statement. Jonas, if you gave me $3 million and you told me to go fuck some girl, <laughs> best believe I'm about to do it. Yeah, but we're not, it would, if, if I I'm you- just telling you right now. <laughs> If anyone gave me $3 million... Is that said, everybody listening to this right now... I'm clapping my hands. Yeah, yeah. Would If I gave you $3 million and go told you to fuck Nanny DeVito, you're getting down. <laughs> wow. Right now. It went now. from a woman to Nanny DeVito. I, look, I don't know. Anyways, on that note, <laughs> leave it in the comments what you think. That's all the time we got for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com. Danny's hot. What? Danny's hot, yeah. Uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.